she loved. God, going forth, comfort them as never before. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I did not have a program with me, and after this selection should have been the acknowledgement, and then I know you have something, so we'll close with you. Okay. Um, to the family of Dolores Williams in our hearts and prayers, and simply are with you during this very difficult time. We love you, Sneaky, Chuck, Beth, Boyce, and Horton. You listen to Deborah Harris and family from Raleigh, North Carolina. We're thinking of all of you and keeping you in our prayers. You know we would be there to support you in this difficult time, but because of the viruses, we can't. We love you, Calvin and Omega. Calvin and Omega Spikes from Shelby, North Carolina. Thank you for allowing the staff at the Perry J. Brown Funeral Service to assist your family during a difficult time of need. This is from Charles Coop, Jr., owner and director. And our church resolution from the New Zion Missionary Baptist Church, church resolution of love and respect for Dolores J. Williamson. We, the members of the New Zion Missionary Baptist Church, would like for the Williamson family to know that our hearts are with you and that we stand united as we gather to bid farewell to a woman of faith and courage, our sister and our friend, Ms. Dolores J. Williamson. Whereas Dolores professed a hope in Christ and acknowledged him as her Savior and Lord. Whereas Dolores united with the New Zion Missionary Baptist Church and gave of her time and talents and resources, not only through her tithes and offerings, but through her physical service. Whereas Dolores was a member of the senior choir, the hospitality and culinary arts ministries, and a past president of the pastor's aid, where she served each of these faithfully until her health began to decline. Be it resolved that we bow in humble submission to God, who never makes a mistake, and remind you to be encouraged. Though we cannot replace Dolores, we will do our best to emulate and demonstrate through our actions and deeds the legacy that she has so aptly left for us to follow. Humbly submit is the sixth day of April 2020, New Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend William Wright, Jr., Senior Pastor. I want to uh, take a few moments just to, to, to give some brief reflections. Uh, I want to thank Pastor Wright, Pam, Stewart, and Shannon from New Zion for all you have done for us. Uh, Brown, funeral service. You know, there's a, a scripture, I think it's Psalm 31 and 31, that says, Honor her for all the, the works of her hand. And yeah. The works of her hand bring her praise at the city gate. Yeah. You know, we know that because of the coronavirus, we, we, we can't have the city gate here. Right. So we are representing on the city gate, and I just want to say a few words. First and foremost, you know, just thank my mother for what she did for us. Mm -hmm. Right? Chris knows. My father knows. You know, we had a we had an awesome house. Yeah. We didn't lack for anything. Mm -hmm. Right? There was love there, laughter. You know, my mama was feisty, so yeah. she was always yeah. Yeah. We, didn't yeah. just, we didn't just run wild in the neighborhood, <laughs> right? But as I grew older, you know, I look back on it, you know, be home at this time, frustratingly then, but it was right. Right. And so she, we, we didn't lack for one thing, Chris. And I want you, that's, that's what we, we, we need to lean on. I just, I had about a hundred things, and I kind of categorize, categorize them into five, because I know we're short on time, but... What my mother did for us is she created a loving home. Mm -hmm. You remember all our friends, that's, that was the meeting place. Mm -hmm. In the summers, just like my aunts created loving homes there, I would go to their houses. The same thing was happening in our house. You know, she, people loved to come to our house. It was just the essence and atmosphere that she, she helped to create in that house. She supported her husband in all his endeavors. You know, one of the things my parents taught me was how to create multiple streams of income. So my father was a referee, a coach, high school teacher, uh, owned a taxi service, uh, all these things, right? My mother was right there with him. You know, we traveled for softball tournaments, all those different things. You know, looking back, that's a big commitment for a wife, right? And so she was supportive. She loved her parents and her siblings. Let me tell you that. There was a reason that she was smiling and talking on the FaceTime, right? Because she loved y'all. She demonstrated that when, along with you guys, you, know, you supported her parents as they, my grandparents as they transitioned. And, you know, she loved her family. We, we, I would never forget all the summers I spent with you. Summers, the, the times I came to your house and Leah moved in on my own. Yeah. Right? She loved you. Right? And so that was just important. You see, a lot of families don't have that. And she created that. 
Uh, she loved and supported her children no matter what we did. Mm -hmm. I, I, I look back on a, uh, the one argument we ever got into, and I wasn't perfect. But she didn't want me to be a police officer. And she was adamant that she didn't. And then I think we got into, I can't remember what the conversation was. But later on, she came back and she said, you know I, why I don't want you to do that? Because I'm worried about you. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to happen to you. I said, Mom, nothing's going to happen. She said, promise me if you get in trouble, you'll run. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, I'll, pro I'll make that promise. And she, she supported me as I moved up into the ranks and, and all that. She loved you, Chris. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? No matter what. You were always her baby boy. Yeah. I was always jealous of that. You the baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they dote on the baby, but yeah. she loved you. Right? Um, she loved to serve others. You know, as evidenced by the church acknowledgement, but I got about 400 text messages. I had to give my wife my phone. Facebook, 600, 700 messages. Mm. But there were a bunch that said, I remember when your mother baked me birthday cakes, mm. when she got me summer jobs, mm. when we used to come to your house and eat. Mm. All these different things because she was a servant. And then she she loved New Zion. Right? She loved New Zion. I remember as I moved out, and, you know, I was always in green. I said, Mom, what you doing today? I got to go over to church. We got dinner. We got this. You know, she loved New Zion. Mm. She loved you guys. And so lastly, now, I want to say this to, to my father, right? I, I, I thank you for everything you did. You are a model of love, commitment, yes. right? Yes. Sacrifice. That it, I always tell people, if you want to assassinate Steve, you, all you got to do is meet him at the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and bedtime. Yes. For right. seven years, mm -hmm. I heard his friends say, I can't believe you did that. Mm -hmm. What they were saying is I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Right, 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 right. So there, I love you. Mm -hmm. Right? I won't ever forget it. Mm -hmm. Right? You set an example for us, mm -hmm. for how we treat our families. Mm -hmm. I love you for that. Mm -hmm. You've always been a great man. I won't ever forget that, no matter what. And I'm sure Mom is clapping right now saying thank you. Good. So we love you, and we, we're going to be with you. So that's it. That's all I have. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> For as much as it pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister Dolores, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust looking for the general resurrection in the last day in the life of the world to come. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed, and may lacken unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty working, whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write mm -hmm. from henceforth, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even so saith the Spirit, mm -hmm. for they rest from their labor. Mm -hmm. God, we are so thankful for a life well lived. Comfort now those who remain. Help them to know, Lord, that death is not the end, yes. but a glorious beginning. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. His countenance to look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benedictions and grace. That we may live together in this world and in the world to come. We will have life everlasting. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Nice seeing, seeing you all again.